This is a 32 years old patient, 32 years old just imagine and uh, he has presented with the complaint of uh, hematemesis and melena, weight loss, fever, low grade constant fever and uh, loss of appetite. So uh, we are going to scan in a systematic way starting from the liver. Now scanning below the costal margin, I can do see the fluid. This is the fluid, these are the powers. So it means that there is uh, ascites. When I move the probe, capilloid, towards the patient's clavicle, right clavicle, I see a serotic liver. Now this is a serotic liver. This is a serotic liver. And this is the right hemidiaphragm. And you can see that there is fluid around it. These are the bubbles. I have said in my one of my segments, I have said that there is only one condition in which you can measure the liver in centimeters or millimeters. Otherwise, the parameters so far used for the measurement of the liver, I don't agree with them. Uh, if the liver is enlarged or even normal in size, giving in centimeter or millimeter does not uh, serve the purpose uh, because uh, with the real mode, two-dimensional ultrasound, you cannot get the measurement in centimeters or millimeters except a shrunken liver. And it's only by A mode that you are able to see the measure the liver by centimeters or millimeters. Now as this liver is a shrunken liver, generalized reduced total surface area is seen, we can say, well, yes, this is, the, the liver is measuring 13.0 centimeters. And you know that the normal, what is given in the books, is uh, 12 to 16 millimeters. Now if we go by book then, this liver is not shrunken, it's at the lower side, but with a normal, because 12, 12 centimeter to uh, 16 centimeter is considered as normal. This liver of the patient's liver may uh, 13, uh, 13 centimeters. So this is a shrunken liver surrounded by fluid. This black area anterior to the liver is the fluke. This is the gallbladder. The wall of the gallbladder it always appears like this. Almost all, I will not say always, but uh, in advanced cases, uh, you will see that the wall is either striated or I will give an appearance uh, of being adimitous. See that the outer surface is irregular. Note the nodule, this is the nodule of the liver. This is the outer surface of the liver and see the waves form or irregularity of the liver outer surface surrounded by clear ascitic fluid. No echoes are seen in this and this is the gallbladder. The ecogenicity is probably ray diffuse, the rays, there is coarseness is obviously seen. So this is a liver with generalized reduced total surface area and is surrounded by fluid. Okay, then uh, in such cases we always see the portal vein. Now this is the portal vein. This is the portal vein running at the right angle to the neck of the GB. This is the gallbladder. And this is the portal vein. Now portal vein measures 11.4 millimeters and the normal uh, uh, should not exceed more than 13. It is within normal dimensions. Okay. Now this is the left lobe of the liver. You, now we, you will rather see both right and left. I try to show you both if I can or otherwise we can do it in segments. Lambasala Kesaroku. 
Now this is the liver when I ask the patient to take a deep breath and hold it below the costal margin and below the epigastric region in terms of section this is the left lobe of the liver, southern okay. This is the almost right lobe of the liver this is the left lobe of the liver I would like to see the correct lobe Now this is the correct lobe of the liver, ligament on venosum, the left lobe of the liver and this is inferior vena cava because you know that uh, the correct lobe is bounded anteriorly by the ligament on venosum and posteriorly uh, IVC courses. So this is uh, a shrunken liver in a 32 year old young with markedly irregular rather nodular outer surface surrounded by fluid, ascitic fluid, gallbladder wall shows thickness or which is itself the gallbladder wall is not thick, it shows striations. These are the striations around the gallbladder and this is the lumen of the gallbladder and uh, in advanced cases, with, when there is a significant amount of uh, ascites surrounding the uh, liver, the gallbladder will give you this appearance. Now, so far, in this study, we see no focal DNA, except a few hypothetical areas. Now kidney and the liver, this is the field between the liver and the kidney, the kidney is normal and this is the, so nothing wrong with the kidney, or better, water vein, branches of the water vein, no, significant uh, no evidence of solid focal mass lean of significance is seen. Okay, now we see the spleen in all cases uh, with the cirrhosis. The after scanning through this area, we go to the spleen. This is the spleen. Let's measure it from pole to pole. It's from pole to pole, it should not weigh at 12 centimeters. Now the patient, uh, the, uh, the patient supreme measures 15.0. Supreme is enlarged from pole to pole. This is the supremic vein, and the supremic vein measures 5.6. So supremic vein is not dilated uh, because of the 10 millimeter is taken as normal. So, and we saw that the portal vein was also normal, so there is no evidence of portal hypertension, though there is history of uh, hematemesis, and this, he gives, the patient gives the history of hematemesis. Okay, now this is the, one of the ways to measure the portal, uh, splenic vein in case of any confusion. This is the splenic vein. This white band of tissue is the pancreas, the landmark for the pancreas. The splenic vein is this one. This is the superior mesenteric artery. This is the aorta and this is the IVC. Now the splenic vein in this, from this direction, measures 5.9 millimeter. This is the area of the pancreas, head of the body of the pancreas in transfer section. So no evidence of varices. Now coming to the pelvic region, this is the urinary bladder, this is the prostate, this area, this area is the prostate in a longitudinal section. This line 
black line we are seeing is the phosphatic urethra, urinary tract. This is the ascitic tube, and these are the bowels. These are all bowels. I'm going to magnify a bit and see the bowels and the ascites and bowels floating in ascites. Ascitic fluid. Ascites, ascites is moderate in amount. This black area within the bowel, these are bowel, these are bowel, these are bowel, and this black area is the ascitic fluid. And one of the things to be noted and observed is that the ascitic fluid is clear. It does not show any echosis. Black. No echos. In malignant ascites, you will see echoes, a lot of echoes. So this is the patient now. This is the shrunken serotic liver. Supremagali and ascites and the liver is showing macromodularity as well. Now these are some tiny hypopoic areas that are seen uh, within this uh, liver. There are eight to nine uh, the tiny hypopoic areas with no shadowing posterior to them and are possibly regenerating nodules within this therapy liver. Thank you.